Hi everybody, Dr. Phil here with PhysFarm. Today I'm going to talk to you about a new feature we've put into the program uh, at public demand. Um, this is a tool I developed for my research work um, and just recently published in the scientific literature. Um, the idea of this tool is to allow you to predict during a session when you'll fatigue and either need to stop or take recovery uh, or, or whatever. Um, it tracks what's called the W prime or the what used to be called the anaerobic work capacity. And the way to think about this is that everybody has a sort of battery and anytime you go above your uh, threshold power or your critical power, um, whatever terminology you or your coach uses, you tap into this limited uh, battery supply. And the more you tap into it, uh, the more you drain it. If you take some recovery, you recharge it a little bit. And this can go back and forth until you use all of it up and you either need to stop or take a lot of recovery or slow down or whatever. So um, there's two steps to having to use the, to being able to use this. The first thing you need to do, of course, is calculate your critical power in the W prime or this uh, so-called anaerobic work capacity. So the way you would do that in race day um, is you would go under um, the, uh, the file menu and click on Edit the Athlete Profile, and you can see here that's me. And here's some of my uh, information. And so, for example, if we click on Cycling, what we can see here is that it lists a critical power for me and a W prime or anaerobic work capacity for me. Um, if you click calculate, it allows you to figure this out. Now, the best way to do this is obviously to do some testing. So uh, you can add additional tests with the plus key, and you want two or probably at least three tests um, so you can make these calculations. So, what you would do is you would uh, go five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, or something like that. You want a, a few tests. Um, put down how many minutes and seconds you held on for um, and what the power you held was. Um, a good way of doing this is actually with an ergometer or a computrainer in erg mode where you just set it to a power above your critical power and then just ride until your cadence drops by 10 RPM or until you just can't ride anymore um, and then put down uh, how long you lasted at that set power. Um, once you do all that, you click calculate, it'll give you your W prime and your critical power. Okay, so let's get out of here. And I'll show you why this is so useful. So here's a ride I did. Um, let's bring that up. So here's the power graph for that ride, and I'll expand it so you can get a good look. Okay. And what I did on this ride was I just uh, rode with some of my buddies. We did a little bit, you know, did some surges, uh, pulled up the front a little bit from time to time, whatever. And until finally we got to a pretty reasonable sized climb near my house, and then we just went all guns blazing to see how far uh, I could hang on for. Um, you know, just kind of going all out. So. Uh, so that's what you see here, that's that spike. Um, if we click, let's get rid of that, if we click uh, the W prime balance button, you get this purple curve, right? So this is joules, or how much energy you have left. Um, and you can see that as we go along here, every time I get above critical power, I use some of this battery's charge. And you can see it drops lower and lower and lower. And you can also see that when you're riding easy, it recharges very slowly. Um, until this point over here, when finally I hit the hill and I go as hard as I can, and you can see uh, the charge drops very, very quickly until it reaches, uh, you know, very close to zero. And once that happens, I have to stop. Um, and then you have to see here that, you know, I ride very, very easily, very slowly uh, until the battery charge comes up a little bit and I'm able to sort of ride more normally again. So this is why this is so useful, because it allows you at any, state, at any particular time to see how fatigued you're going to get uh, you know, during a ride. Um, but you can also use it, if you like, to analyze interval workouts. Um, if you do a set of intervals and you find you can't finish the session, you can analyze it using this tool and you can look and see, did you do intervals to the point where your W prime hit zero? Um, that's the reason why you had to stop. Uh, so that's an important thing uh, you can keep track of and you can use it to better construct your interval workouts so that you don't uh, completely deplete your anaerobic work capacity or you don't try to plan to do uh, too many intervals uh, for you or an athlete. Uh, you can also use this for the anal analysis of race files. Um, very often I use this with cyclists, and I can say, you know, look, the reason why you ended up, uh, you know, falling out of the pack is that you used up all of your W prime. Um, so that's a good thing for them to be able to see firsthand, uh, and then they can alter their strategy. They can sit in more. They can save, uh, you know, try and save up for a sprint at a different time, or make a break at a different time, um, uh, depending on how much uh, on how much of this W prime they had left. So that's really how you use. Uh, this new tool, and I hope you have fun with it.